this slide, we will overview the platform supply vessel and anchor handling tug supply vessel. And we will watch the related to anchor handling operations movie with the main elements of buoy deployment. Platform supply vessel or PSV. The PSV is designed for supplying of short drilling rigs and production platforms with necessary equipment, stores and drilling consumables. There are typically cement, barite and bentonite transported as dry powders, drill water, oil or water-based liquid mud, methanol and chemicals for specialized operations. The PSV loads at the shore base. Normally some kind of uh, offshore port or uh, even merchant port where there are facilities uh, to receive the needed cargo. Liquid cargo is carried in double bottom tanks. Dry bulk cargoes in special pneumatic pressure tanks. Equipment and drill pipes on the aft of open deck. At the rig or platform the liquid and powder cargos are pumped up or transferred pneumatically while the cargo is handled by the rig crane. A typical PSV operating profile shows the vessel spending about 25% of the time in harbor loading and unloading and 40% of time sailing at services in the 14-16 knots speed and 35% uh, loading or discharging at sea, often in strong winds and high seas, and strong currents. The greatest danger to a crewman working on a supply vessel include being washed overboard in bad weather conditions or being harmed either by the cargo he is handling or by the equipment he is using. So, a great care should be taken in account when operating on such kind of vessel and all parties involved should keep continuous link of communication, conforming each step and stage of operation performance. Anchor handling tax supply vessels, AHTS. The AHTS combines a number of functions in a single hull. This includes handling the anchors and mooring chains for drilling rigs, towing of rigs and platforms together with subsequent positioning on site, and platform supply duties. The required boiler pool has a powerful influence on the design, since this defines the power need, the propeller size, hull shape and depth aft to give the necessary propeller immersion. Hull beam and shape shall give good stability, particularly when heavy moorings and anchors are suspended from the stern. Anchor handling requires high power, winch capacity, deck space aft, storage bins for rig chains and auxiliary handling equipment. A stern roller is used to ease the passage of wires and anchors over the stern of the vessel during deploying or Wedding of the anchor. Uh, huge forces are involved in the anchor handling processes due to equipment under the tension. For that reason, here great care should be taken when uh, we have wires or chains under the tension and no people might stay on open deck when equipment is in pulling process or discharging process. So. All wires might be disengaged only by the order and everything that may be pulled should be pulled on the deck with the additional tiger winches and uh, with the minimum use of a man hand power. Let's watch uh, the specific movie about anchor handling tug supply vessel.